y'all. Well, we are sad because we are getting ready to leave our awesome campsite here at Picacho Peak, but we are ready to get rolling again and get on the road. We told you we already have a loan lined up. I'll tell you about that in a little bit, but I wanted to share this. If y'all remember a while back, we stopped at the Blue Hole in Santa Rosa, New Mexico, and I found this rock that was hidden there. I'll link the video up here if you haven't seen it where I found this, but I've been holding on to it till I could find a really cool place to leave it, and I think this is a really cool place to leave it. So I'm gonna leave it here for somebody else to find. I don't wanna make it too difficult, so I'm gonna hide it kinda right over here by this bush. And, uh, right there. I think that's a good place and it'll be fun for somebody else to find it. I'm actually thinking about doing that myself. I've, I did uh, get some paint and stuff so I think I'm gonna start doing that and leave some crafty trucker rocks around for people to find. I think that would be fun. We're getting ready to get everything unhooked on the truck. We're gonna get down the road a little bit, stop at a truck stop, shower, and get closer for our pickup so we'll see you in a little bit Take two. <laughs> we just filmed a whole clip. About a good five, seven minutes. And Jason had to take the camera on the wrong setting, so there was no audio. And, and it was in <laughs> slow-mo. We were like, Aah. He's still learning this new camera. <laughs> we wanted to tell you about the load. We picked it up last night in Arizona. We're going to Maryland. The loaded miles are a little over 2,300. Our deadhead was about 73 miles. We have one pallet at 490 pounds. It's been a fun drive so far. For me, it's been so windy. We're in Oklahoma right now, and yeah. I've been driving the 40 the whole my whole shift. 31 mile an hour winds. 31 right? mile an hour winds. I mean, that's probably not even the most it's been gusting, but I tell you what, that is so stressful. I mean, I think it's more stressful even just like snow or bad rain because you're like fighting to keep in your lane and we're so light anyway you know every gust feels like the truck's gonna tip over yeah, yeah. but um jason has a good tip for that oh yeah um something i do and you know most of you guys know we drive about 62 all the time at 62 that keeps our rpms really really low right at about 11,000 um rpms so what i do is slow it down to about 55 54 55 i'll stick the transmission in manual and then drop it down into ninth gear and i'll just run in that that climbing gear and it, it just it slowing down helps give you more control and um you know that that higher rpms just gives you a little bit 
more control and power to kind of push through those wing guts. Just something we do. I, I don't know if that's the best way to do it. <laughs> um, it's it just, help. yeah, it's something I've played around with over the years and that, that helps us. One thing you got to do, got to remember is when you go to exit off the highway, you got to make sure you uh, <laughs> stick that transmission back in auto yeah, so it downshifts. It, we have the the Eaton Ultra Shift. Yeah, you can. It's an automatic, yeah. but you can put it's it an, in auto what or is it, manual. Like auto, it's called automated. Well, it's just like your guys' cars. You know, you you can put it in manual, and then you got a little push button on most yeah. most vehicles to upshift or downshift. It's I'm guilty of that. I, <laughs> I, I've done that several times where I'm, <laughs> when I did it one time and I'm exiting, I'm like, why is the truck not going? Why is it not going? And I had it in manual, so it wasn't downshifting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah you I know. always hear it. I always hear it because right at 40 <laughs> miles an hour when you're slowing down, you're coasting downward, um, it usually drops down into eighth and then I'll hear it, I'll hear it, because from ninth to 8th, it's supposed to drop at 40, and I don't hear it shift, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, yeah. But yeah. he has better hearing than me, so he <laughs> hears all that. I, like, I, eventually, I do realize and hear it, but, yeah. Yeah. But I will say, when I filled up this morning in uh, TA Santa Rosa, our fuel mileage was like 10.59, which is not bad. Not bad. Considering the wind, considering you had to drive up that big old, was that, on the 17? Yeah, yeah, the 17, and we came up that route, and that that mountain, I, I think that's worse than Donner's Pass. <laughs> uh, that, that is a whipping, yeah. uh, you know, you got to keep it in manual almost the whole way. And Really what will be the test is our next fuel up to see yeah. what our mileage is yeah, with yeah. this wind, and yeah. hopefully it'll die down in a little bit or It, it should, as it gets darker, the winds kind of usually die down some, so. Yeah. Well, I, I've finished my pre-trip, let the dogs out. She's going to make me dinner. Yep, yep. What are you going to make me? I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm hungry. I think I, I might make a cheesy cauliflower mac and cheese with ham. We love cauliflower. Yeah, I got a head of cauliflower I need to use up. So yeah, yeah. That's Sounds probably good. what it'll be. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll catch up with you guys down the road. Yep. Peace. <laughs>
I'm just organizing some paperwork. And what do you think, Missy? Yeah, fixing to feed them. They haven't eaten their dinner yet, so mm, I gotta get them fed. Get them fed. Yeah. Getting some paperwork done. I'm gonna get to editing. What do you think, boy? Get him over there. <laughs> boy. Hi, some baby. Say hi. What are you doing? Say hi. What are you doing over there? You ready for your dinner? You hungry? You hungry? <laughs> Chilling for the night. Yep. We'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. What's up, guys? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> well, it is Sunday, and... I slept till 3 o'clock today. Jason slept in. He sure did. I Lazy slept all bum. Day. But you stayed up late. I did. After we fueled and did all that, I did a little bit of editing, and then I passed out because I was tired. She was out. She grabbed the remote control, put it on her favorite <laughs> channel, and then passed out. I know. I was watching Ghost Adventures, and Jason hates that. I hate that show, and she passed out anyway. I had to get... get go find the remote on her side and yeah. <laughs> change it to what I wanted to watch. Um, but. but we're at Speedco. We're going to get a PM done on the truck, going to get the generator service. Yeah. Something, speaking of generator, happened last night. Oh, my god! Jason was sitting up front. He's like, did you hear that? And I'm he, like, no, I didn't hear nothing. Our belt broke. One of the belts broke. The adjustable belt. Yeah. That he had just... Uh, it broke. Yeah. I must have had it too tight, so... We are going to go back to the drawing board and uh, probably do a revisited video on how to adjust this properly. I am going to go to the shop and buy a new one. And, and of course, this is the one I did not buy. Right. Not, not this is the it. one part I do not have for the generator. And the generator will still run without it, but it, it we, we won't have, we don't have any power to like our uh, microwave, microwave convection yeah, oven and yeah, all of that. Yeah, so, yeah, so we're going to have to get that fixed pretty soon. Yeah. Probably. We've got two loads lined up. Talk about them in the next vlog, but yeah. sometime between now and then, we'll have to find like a carrier or something, right? Yeah. After we pick up tomorrow, we'll find a carrier along the way and stop and pick that belt up. And I'll probably talk to the mechanic real quick and just get some tips on the adjustment and see what I can't find out from him. And <laughs> we'll do a revisited video. Yeah, we'll keep you posted on that. But. Yeah. We'll go ahead and end this one here, guys. Thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Mm -hmm.